When it's all said and done, I want my legacy to be of a man who managed to define success for himself and maintain it. A person who managed to not compromise his own beliefs and principles and make a living in an industry where they, most people tell you that's not possible. Uh, and I really want to go down as one of the true people that people genuinely believe were happy and content with where they were in their industry. Because that is something that I have to combat constantly. And at the end of the day, I want people to truly believe he's actually really happy because nobody believes it. Everybody believes, nah, he got to want more fans. He got to want more people to know who he is. And I don't, I don't care. If it happens, it happens. If it does, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. But I want mine to be a legacy of what my last mixtape says, that dreams are realistic and are tangible. And here's an artist that proved it. You don't have to be what they expect you to be. You can be what you want to be and still have success. My first cassette tape that I personally bought was Run DMC's Raising Hell. And I had to hide it because it said the word hell. That's how young I was. My team is structured in a way where I, I trust them to do what they do because they're skilled at it. And it allows me to just make the music at the end of the day. You know, I'll probably be doing visual arts or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, probably directing and you know what I'm saying? Movies and stuff like that. This just had a bunch of bomb ass cheese, man. Sorry about that, Wolf, but yo, I knew you, you weren't going to eat it anyways.